Jupiter, the ruler of all planets. Named after the king of gods in Roman mythology, Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the largest planet in the solar system. It is a gas monster among its neighboring planets in our solar system and reigns over a miniature solar system of at least 79 moons. And now, scientists are about to undertake one of their grandest ever space missions to explore the icy moons of Jupiter and to find out if life really exists within its moon's oceans. The first recorded sightings of Jupiter were by the ancient Babylonians in around 7th or 8th century BC. It is named for Jupiter, the king of the Roman gods and god of the sky. The Greek equivalent is Zeus, god of thunder. Germanic tribes saw the planet as Dona, also known as Thor. Jupiter is a truly fascinating planet and holds some exceptionally impressive stats against its sibling world. If the planet was hollow, it could fit all the other planets in our solar system inside it, with additional capacity to spare. This is due to the immense size and low density. Jupiter's great red spot, which is a vast storm larger than the size of Earth, has been raging for at least 350 years and possibly longer. This storm is so large that three Earths could fit inside it. Jupiter has also played a significant role in the formation and evolution of the solar system, and its large size and gravity has played a key role in shaping the orbits of the inner planets and in protecting the inner solar system from comets and asteroids. Jupiter has been explored by several spacecrafts such as Pioneer, Voyager, Galileo, and the recent Juno mission, which have delivered valuable information and data about the planet and its moons. Jupiter has the shortest day of the eight planets. The planet rotates very quickly, turning on its axis once every nine hours and 55 minutes. This rapid rotation is also what causes the flattening effect of the planet, which is why it has an oblate shape. One orbit of the Sun takes Jupiter 11.86 Earth years. This means that when viewed from Earth, the planet appears to move very slowly in the sky. It takes months for Jupiter to move from one constellation to the next. The colourful light and dark bands that surround Jupiter are created by strong east-west winds in the planet's upper atmosphere, travelling more than 335 miles per hour. The white clouds in the light zones are made of crystals of frozen ammonia, while darker clouds made of other chemicals are found in the dark belts. At the deepest visible levels are blue clouds. Far from being static, the stripes of clouds change over time. Instead of the atmosphere, diamond rain may fill the skies, and hidden deep within the atmosphere is a dense core of unknown composition. Lightning storms turn methane into carbon, which as it falls hardens into chunks of graphite and then diamonds. These diamond hailstones eventually melt into a liquid sea in the planet's hot cores. Jupiter's 79 known moons, including the four largest moons in the solar system, known as the Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, have diverse landscapes and geologies, and scientists now believe some of them are considered as potential habitats for life. Scientists are now in the final stages of launching the JUICE satellite that is going through final testing in Toulouse, France, after which it will be shipped into the launch site in South America and apart Earth in April. The six-ton spacecraft will make a series of flybys of Callisto, Ganymede and Europa, it your instruments to investigate whether any of these worlds are habitable. This might sound far-fetched, as the Jovian system is in the cold and outer reaches of the solar system, as well as being far from the sun and receiving just the 125th 
of the light falling on Earth. However, the gravitational squeezing and pushing the giant planet gives its moons means they have the energy and warmth to retain vast quantities of liquid water at depth. And we know on Earth that wherever there is water, there's an opening for life. In the case of Europa, it's thought there's a deep ocean, maybe 100 kilometers deep, underneath its ice crust. That depth of ocean is 10 times that of the deepest ocean on Earth, and the ocean is in contact with a rocky floor. So that provides a scenario where there is mixing and some interesting chemistry. Juice is on a 6.6 .6 billion kilometer journey, lasting 8.5 years. Mark the calendar for July 2031. That's when Juice arrives at Jupiter. It will then conduct 35 flybys of the three moons before settling permanently around Ganymede in late 2034. Its job is to learn more about the possibilities for habitability that future missions could then investigate in more detail. Scientists have long pondered the idea of putting landers on one of Jupiter's icy moons to drill through its crust to the water below. Another important factor is the potential for a source of energy on Europa. The moon is believed to have a subsurface ocean that is in contact with a rocky seafloor. This seafloor is thought to be composed of silicate materials, which would potentially provide a source of energy for life in the form of chemosynthesis. Chemosynthesis is a process by which certain organisms convert inorganic compounds into organic matter, providing a source of energy for growth and reproduction. Europa also has a subsurface ocean that can be heated by tidal forces caused by Jupiter's gravity. This internal heat source could also provide energy for life to thrive in the ocean. Additionally, the subsurface ocean is thought to be protected from harmful radiation by the icy surface of Europa, which could also help to support life. Europa isn't the only moon that has been considered as a potential habitat for life. Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, is also thought to have a subsurface ocean. Similarly to Europa, Ganymede's ocean could also be heated by tidal forces and could also be protected from radiation by its icy surface. Subterranean pools of salty water may be commonplace on Jupiter's moon, Europa, according to researchers who believe the sites could be promising spots to search for signs of life beyond Earth. Evidence for the shallow pools, not far beneath the frozen surface of the Jovian moon, emerged when scientists noticed that giant parallel ridges stretching for hundreds of miles on Europa were strikingly similar to surface features discovered on the Greenland ice sheet. If the extensive ice ridges that crisscross Europa formed in a similar way to those in Greenland, then pockets of subsurface water may be ubiquitous on the body and help circulate chemicals necessary for life from the icy shell down to the salty ocean that lurks far beneath. Europa and Ganymede are considered the most likely candidates for potential life within our solar system. The presence of a subsurface ocean, potential sources of energy, and protection from radiation all make these moons prime targets for the search of extraterrestrial life. Upcoming missions to Europa and Ganymede will help to further our understanding of these moons and could potentially provide evidence of the existence of life beyond Earth.